Hello and welcome to InYourHomeFitness.com. I am Brenda Lee and today's fitness video is going to be how to properly sit at a desk using a uh, iPad, a tablet, or uh, a laptop. But first we're going to start with the chair. So as you can see my dog Dolly's in the background. She's helping me out here. So first of all, in this position, I have a office chair, but the problem is I'm so short, I've got this big, huge gaping space. So if I'm working along, I have a tendency to do this, which is not good for my lower back. So I stick a pillow in behind. You can use two pillows if you need them. The second thing is that my feet need to be flat on the floor. I'm not sure if you can see that. We'll just tilt the video down a bit. Feet flat on the floor. But the problem is once I raise my chair, my feet are just kind of dangling. So I use a little Queen Anne stool and I put that there. And I find that's really good to help. And I sit in the position and I'm all ready to go. Now the next thing is, I'll tilt this back up again. The next thing is we're going to talk about is your keyboard and your position of your keyboard. So when I'm working on my laptop, I want my arms directly across and away I go. Now, if you have problems with your wrists, you can either buy one of those, um, you can get them off Amazon. It's a little for your wrists to help with your keyboard. Or you can just use, I have a tea towel I've just rolled up and I put it there and away I go. Now the other thing is that you want to look directly. So you can see my iPad is raised. So I'm looking at it directly. I'm not looking down. So when I'm looking down, you can see the pull that's happening on the back of my neck and my shoulder area. Also, if you twist, and you're doing this and looking that way or you're doing this way you're also putting strain on your neck i mean that's okay for five minutes but when you're there for hours working away it's not a good idea so since i have a portable keyboard which is great but what happens when you're using a laptop suggestion get a portable USB, and there you go, keyboard, and you can actually plug it in to your computer because a laptop, you'd be way here and see how my arms are up like this? That's not good. So you wanna keep everything looking forward. So a portable keyboard is a great idea. So the next thing is your mouse pad, if you're using a mouse. Suggestion is get something that has wrist support. Now, if you don't have wrist support on your keypad, you can use the cheapy one. This is supposed to have a pad on it, but it's actually useless. So what I do is I get a face cloth and I just kind of roll it up and I put it on there and then I can do my business with my mouse. Okay. So the most important thing is get support for your back don't twist at all. Make sure your keyboard is in a position where it's nice and straight. Now you can do something else too. If you'd like, you can sit back and you can actually put your keyboard on your lap if you like. You can do that. But as long as your monitor that you're staring at is not way down here, that's the most important thing because I'll show you what happens if I'm... You can use a box. Use what you have around the house. That's my suggestion. So here I have my iPad and I'm here and I'm working away. Look how much my head is tilted down. Way too far. And you don't want that. You want it up where it's where you're looking right at it. Well, thank you for watching. 
And until next time, keep safe. Bye for now.